in this video we will find the cube roots of unity or cube roots of 1 so first we will let x is equal to cube root of 1 then we will take the cube of both sides so we have x cube and this cube root and cube will be cancelled so we have 1 and this equation can be written as x cube minus 1 is equal to 0 now this can be written as x cube minus 1 cube is equal to 0 and here we will use the formula a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b multiplied by a square plus a b plus b square so we will apply this formula over here so we have x minus 1 x square plus x times 1 plus 1 square is equal to 0 so we have x minus 1 multiply by x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 now we have two factors and the product of these factors is 0 so either x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 so we have x is equal to 1 and for this we will use the quadratic formula so the standard form of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c so we can compare the coefficients of x square so we have a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 1 now the quadratic formula is equal to x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a now we will put the values of a b and c in this formula so we have x is equal to minus in place of b we will put 1 and then 1 is square minus 4 times the value of a is 1 and the value of c is 1 and in the denominator we have 2a and the value of a is 1 so we have minus 1 plus minus the square root of 1 minus 4 then minus 1 plus minus the square root of minus 3 upon 2 and then this can be written as minus 1 plus minus the square root of 3 times minus 1 upon 2 so we have x is equal to minus 1 plus minus the square root of 3 multiplied by square root of minus 1 upon 2 we know that the square root of minus 1 is iota so we have minus 1 plus minus the square root of 3 iota upon 2 now we have two values of x which is minus 1 plus root 3 iota upon 2 and minus 1 minus root 3 iota upon 2 now this can be written as x is equal to minus 1 plus root 3 iota upon 2 and then x is equal to minus 1 minus root 3 iota upon 2 so the roots of the equation is 1 minus 1 plus root 3 iota upon 2 and minus 1 minus root 3 iota upon 2 suppose this root is equal to omega so omega is equal to minus 1 plus root 3 iota upon 2 and if we take the square of both sides so we have omega square is equal to minus 1 plus root 3 iota upon 2 whole square now omega square is equal to minus 1 plus root 3 iota whole square upon 2 square 
and omega square is equal to now here we will apply the formula a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square so we have minus 1 whole square plus 2 times minus 1 multiply by 3 iota plus square root of 3 iota upon 4 here we will apply this formula and then we have omega square is equal to square of minus 1 is 1 then minus 2 root 3 iota then plus square of root 3 is 3 and square of iota is iota square upon 4 now we have 1 minus 2 root 3 iota plus 3 times iota square is minus 1 so we have omega square is equal to 1 minus 2 root 3 iota minus 3 upon 4 now omega square is equal to minus 2 minus 2 root 3 iota upon 4 and then we will take 2 common so we have minus 1 minus root 3 iota upon 4 and after cancellation we have omega square is equal to minus 1 minus root 3 iota upon 2 so this is the third root of 1 so we can say that these roots can be written as 1 omega and omega square so the complex roots of unity are 1 omega and omega square so these are the roots of cube roots of 1